tulip. Because it's high range water reducer flower week. So we're here to talk to you about high range water reducers. Um, but a couple stories. Yes. Now we, Whitney and I, fell in love with high range, a specific high range water reducer. Optima 258 by Creso, or 256, 256 by Creso, and it literally is our favorite. Um, we started using them years ago, right. decade, decade plus. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so, so long ago. Um, and the first project that I remember you and I working on together was mm -hmm. the Geo. Right. Geopolymer Concrete, yes. yeah. where we had a certain government entity ask us, hey, can you make a, we call this up on a Sunday night at 10 p.m. Right. And Whitney, what were you, you were cooking eggs. Right. This is before Sammy or after Sammy? Before. Before uh, Sammy was born? Yes, yeah, because I. We're living with mom and dad. Yep. So didn't have, yeah, right. living with mom and dad. Yep. The lab is in their garage right. slash, slash basement. And sometimes 10 o'clock at night. Sitting in the dining room. Sometimes in the dining room. Oh, she got so pissed. She got that. so mad. So pissed. Chemical shrinkage samples. So we get a call from this government agency. Hey, we've been working on this geopolymer right. mix for a while. It's really specific. We are no cement allowed. Right. No uh, water glasses. No water glasses. You got to use 10% on-site clay, right. and it's got to get a five to seven inch slump, act like concrete, right. and then you got to get 5,000 psi plus at, at two, 14 days. Of two weeks, 14 days. And I said, no problem. Already got it designed. Did that yesterday. No issues. Yeah. Grab a tissue. <laughs> oh, no need to grab a tissue because there's no issues. So, Whitney and I got the materials like a few days later, immediately went into the lab, cranked out the first mix, and nailed it. Yep. Nailed it. And then I threw away the mix. He never does. Never does. He that. never like we have binders upon binders upon, upon binders of every binders. mix design he has ever done, and we lost that mix design. Fifty six mixes later, fifty seven mixes did later, did not have it. Now I, I don't want to go into the kitchen sink because right. we already did a story about that, but we went through with the combination of naturally mined clays, right. waste materials, the on site soil, right. It was only this high range water reducer that actually made it happen. Right. That, I remember, so I don't know if you remember this. Whitney, I was doing the mix and we're using oh some other high range water reducer, and the mix went from this nice, beautiful, fluid mix. And then yeah. it tied, like I turned away and I went back to the mixer, and the mixer was like, it was, I was like, holy shit! And I looked at Whitney, he was like, go get me some more high range! You remember what happened after yes. that? Yes. He was, like, I was trying to do it, but my hand was shaking because he was so upset. And then he starts yelling at me more, which made me cry and move even slower. We, were, we had been married, like, less than a year, and he's like, anyways. Yeah. I only needed 2.5 mils, and yeah. you couldn't fill up a dropper. Don't be a dick about it, man. Like, it was, <laughs> no, he was freaking screwed. How, how efficient are you going to be, first of all, when you've worked in the lab for a few months, not even, and someone's screaming at you? Uh, how I, steady will your hand be to get 2.5 mils out of a freaking gallon-sized bucket that's almost empty? I, I am. I was trained under fire. Right. It's hardened under fire. Yeah, I know. The heat you know, of the he reaction. trains our new technicians now, and he's so gentle with them. And I'm just like, I'm I'm thankful sure. for them, but I you messed up a mix. Sad for me. No problem. No problem. Don't worry. We'll get rid of it. It's we'll fine. start all over again. You're doing great. You're Can doing I get great. you some chocolate? Do you need a drink of water? How's the temperature? Do you want to take a break? Take Do you need five. some slippers? So that was that was one of the first experiences that you and I had together. Working together and really this the uh, this high range water reducer, you know, we had a question from one of our subscribers uh, Which one is the best and it, it comes down to a personal preference. It's right. like do you like coke or Pepsi? I mean every sure. chemical oh my gosh the smell every <laughs> chemical admixture <laughs> That smells like making me nauseous has its own and bells and whistles. of course, we've whistles. got all the doors closed in right. here, so that's good. I blame it on the chili. Um, yeah, can you open that window? Whew. Just fuming it up in here. 
Thank goodness Slomo wasn't in here farting. Slomo, come in here. I think I let him out. The second project that we worked on were the 256 really just, oh my gosh, you remember? You remember, of course you remember. And fast track. Fast track pavement. I was in Colorado. You were in New Jersey. Sammy was a few months old. We had a customer call us up and say, hey, I got all these new admixtures. Um, switching up my whole product line to Creezo. Right. Um, is there any way that you can help us redial in our fast track pavement? And we need it by the end of this week. And I said, Yeah, no problem. I wasn't even in the lab. Wasn't I wasn't even, even in the state. Nope. So this was the first time that Whitney had to run mixes completely on my own. Oh my gosh. And it was I had to wait till Sammy went to bed at night. So I'd start at like eight PM and run four mixes. Four, and five, then and six hour breaks. Four, five and six hour breaks. So I was up almost all night. Doing the breaks. With calorimetry. Then I would oh, have to send, send the data to John. He would send me a new set of mixed designs, and it would start over. And I think that went on for like three nights in a row. We kicked the crap we out did. of that project. We did. And I tell you, I, I love designing fast track pavements. Right. And with the 256, it was just so easy. The problem is you can't get the 256 anymore. Or it's cannot. limited supply, and they have the 258, right. which is good. But my the 258 is, is really good, but yeah, yeah the 256 was... It, and maybe it's all the memories and the stories and all that jazz, but... I know. No, the, I, yeah, I feel, I feel like the 256 had a little extra... Oof. A little extra something special that's not in the 258. Cheerios. Crushed up unicorn tears. I don't know. I really don't know. But it was awesome. Still is. It's it's like the Oreo brand Oreos in the not the Hydrox in cookies. the in the cookie um, Blizzard, you know, at Dairy Queen, versus like the No Frills Hydrox. Which in it's ice not cream no you can't. It's Hydrox cookies. What does that? What Hydrox? Because as you know, as a Jewish kid, we couldn't eat Oreo cookies because they had lard in them. Uh, so we got the Hydrox cookies. They're called Hydrox. Hydrox. <laughs> yeah, I just, I didn't know. That's what they were really called. They're Hydrox not like that. Because now you get like the Kniknik K2s. You know what Kniknik is? No, but it's I know they're uh, kosher. Kniknik I get There's no soy, so a, Sammy can have them. Is a Blue plant that free. grows up in the mountains. Is it? That you can use, dry out, and you can smoke it as if it was tobacco. Yeah, we learned about that in survival training. Wonderful. Class 2004. Well, that's what I buy for our kids. Kniknik? No, you don't buy Kniknik. No, I'm saying that name. brand. Yeah. I don't, that might not even, it looks like that's what it's called. I don't know. Knick Why not just call it, like, Bob? <laughs> like, why do they have to have, like, You know, that is the second time I've heard the name Bob used for something that was a much nicer name. Like, I, I work with this, uh, this Chinese professor, and he has an amazing name, and he goes by Bob. Like, come on, man. Make the Americans Own it. learn. Own it. Name. Yeah. And his name is freaking amazing. Like, it took me a couple times to say it, but no, it's just yeah. a name. Anyway. So I feel like we digress a lot. We do, occasionally. Not all the time. Sometimes Not all the time. Hopefully Patchouli keeps his shit in. This is some pretty good stuff. I thought she was doing a blue for Rio. <laughs> Gosh, that it's smell. Oh, it's that one over there. Dude, it smells like shit. You can't smell it? Go grab it. It smells like Elmer's glue, but like, concentrate. Anyway. So those are our experiences with high-range water reducers. Right. They weren't always clean and easy and quick. Well, it's just, it's the mixes, you know? And, and that's the thing, too. You've got to, John said everyone's kind of got their high range that they like. So really, you've got to figure out, based on the technologies you're using, the materials you're using, like, what is the best fit for your application. And you don't have to do it on your own. Right. Your admixture suppliers should ask right. you for a certain amount of your cementitious materials what you're going after and give you a recommendation. Right. Now, just as a side note, a quick story time, when I first got into the industry is when high-range water reducers, polycarboxylates, first started coming out here in the States, here in Colorado, actually. Right. And the folks that I were, was working with, they were like, high-range water reducer? I've been doing this 30 years. A water reducer is a water reducer. And literally, they would close their eyes and throw this stuff in the back of the truck. They would have paste over here, rock and sand over here, and say, ah, something's wrong with the admixture. So you really need yeah. to figure out which one is best for you, your materials, right. and your concrete that you're designing for your end product. So hopefully you learned something today. Yes, hopefully you learned to be nice to your wife. <laughs> Don't yell at her in the lab. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Really, Ding really that good. bell for notifications. And look at the hot card. And the peonies. No, tulips this time. Oh, tulips. Look at the tulips. So thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete! Beat asphalt.